Hi, and welcome back to Put It In Your Mouth, episode 19. Uh, I'm Jason, as you know. That's Mark, and you might remember Owen back here. So hey. His head looks a lot smaller than ours does for some reason. But we've got five food items and three drinks. I'm going to let Mark pick out which one he wants to start with. Uh, let's try the chocolate cake. And I'm going to go get a knife because I didn't think about that. Chocolate cake. Chocolate how do you say that? Chococo, Choco, Dane cake. Where is this from, Jason? Denmark. Okay. Chocolate, Choco, Choco. Chocolate. You notice how that weighs like a brick? It must be a very dense cake. This must weigh at least two, two pounds. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like paint. So there's what it looks like. And it really does stink. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think any of us want to eat a full piece of this. Okay, the cover looks good. It smells awful. Yeah, it smells awful. Oh. <laughs> I, I taste chocolate, but I sure didn't smell it. Now I gotta find the English ingredient. Isn't oh it? my goodness. This is called chocolate luxury cake. Chocolate flavored Madeira cake. I don't know what that is. This is awful. I don't see anything weird in the ingredients. Just sugar, wheat, flour, egg, oil, cardboard, co <laughs> cocoa powder, milk, sugar. Oh, that is awful. The smell is bad, but the. He ate the whole piece. The smell is bad, but it actually its fingers. <laughs> the smell is bad, but it actually tastes like chocolate. It tastes disgusting. But I don't think you can get past your nose to enjoy that, so it's got to be a two. I give it a three. One. Never eat it again. Okay, let's do another item. Food. Let's go for something a little bit better. This is a Korean Pocky ripoff. Papero cookies and Pero. cream. White chocolate. I got these at the Asia store that's run by Korean people. They sometimes have plain coffee, but usually they have this rip-off stuff. But it looks like it's got a lot more to it than your everyday coffee. They all melted together. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my little coffee chop drumstick since it broke. But there's a lot of cookies and crunchy stuff on there. Oh, that's pretty good. But, did you break the cake? It's way too hard. No, it's okay. Mm. It's not smooth like real pocky is. It's too, too, too uh, crunchy or something. You have no taste. That's a little bit better taste than that cake. I'll give it a three. There's not much to it. No, I'll give it a three. Yeah, I'll give it a three too. Okay, man. Three or two. Three, also. <laughs> okay, this is some water from Japan or Korea. I think it's oh, Korean. It's from Latte. It's uh, called 2% peach water. Uh, I've had this many times before, but the only problem was is that when they first made it, it was made with real peach juice. Now it's made with peach syrup, and it totally changed the flavor of it. It used to be wonderful when it was real peach juice, but now I think it's turned into something too, too artificial tasting. And I've seen on the internet, they make 2% grapefruit and 2% lemon, but I never found it in the stores. Mm, it smells good. Doesn't have much taste at all. Yeah, but that's the whole point. It's supposed to be water with just a touch of like, 2% uh -huh. of peach, it's called refreshing water, 2% peach. Oh, it's pretty good. It seems they might have 
Those, yeah, it's got peach concentrate back in it. Before it had so they must have realized it and changed it back. Because that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I'll give that a four. It's not a five because it's not something you're like, good God, I love it, but it's, it's good. It's nice. I'll still give it a three. I'll give it a three also. Okay. Now let's go with our, bring back the last of the Foxworthies. Back to Foxworthy. We've seen us do the uh, Jeff Foxworthy Sweet Heat and the Jeff Foxworthy Jalapeno. This is the last one. These have been sitting around in the bottom of the bag. This is cheddar cheese. I believe that we didn't really ever like either one of them that much because Mark said they weren't spicy enough. And of course, this was not supposed to be spicy. It's, it's called grit chips. It's not a color that you would expect to be cheddar cheese either. It looks like a Frito. It tastes like a Frito as well. But it tastes like cheese. I don't taste any cheese. Tastes a little bit like grits. Those are okay. Yeah. I give them a three. I can't get away from three. <laughs> yeah. I could just sit there and eat it. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't love it, but I could eat it. So it's a three. So that's a clean and sweet. Okay. Now you might uh, remember on one of the few episodes ago we had a uh, mango creamy soda. And I think we both gave it a pretty decent score, except Mark said that the cream was not fitting. This is Melon Creamy Soda by the same company. It's by uh, UCC, which is also the maker of canned coffee. And I think you're not supposed to shake this one because it's carbonated. I remember Mark said, Mucho Mango. It doesn't smell as good as the mango. Hmm. Smell like a watermelon mint airhead. That's pretty decent. Take another sample. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. I could drink that. Yeah, yeah this That's one, good. the cream doesn't come out like the other one. It just tastes like fruity. Mm -hmm. I'll I, give it a four. i got to give that a four. Yeah, I'll give it a four as well. We're all kind of dull. <laughs> now we'll go with Jeff Fox, where he's partner in life and in business. Larry the Cable Guy, barbecue rib tater chips. Tater chips. And I've never seen these any place except for the... The Mark is a store called Chinatown, not in Chinatown. Chinatown, Savannah, one point. Now, the way you, I would judge these is they, they clean to be barbecue rib. They need to taste like some ribs. Oh, they smell like barbecue. Mm. Mm, that's pretty decent. Yeah, I actually do taste what I would say. Well, where'd you get those from? What were we just talking about? <laughs> we just said it's at Chinatown Market, that one me and you went to down there. Oh, the Chinatown Market? These get the mark because they actually do taste like pork. Hmm. It could have just gone the cheap way and been a barbecue sauce, but this actually you taste meat. Yeah. Those are good. I'll give that a... I just, I don't know about a five because it's not that great. I'll give it a four because it does taste like meat. Four. Four here too. Those are good. Okay. And well, advertise. We're going to do this first because we might need that next. Uh, Mark can introduce it. We have Sriracha Peanuts. I think this is for the from the world market. These are going to be pretty hot. Not as hot as the new food. I bet they're worse than those sauce. chips. What the? They're what? worse than the Pringles. Sriracha. Oh, sriracha chips. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get one. I'm gonna, right, and he's I'm gonna eat a pair of nuts. <laughs> okay, it's like peanuts. And you get the burn? 
I didn't feel no flavor of it, but I can feel it starting to burn the back of my tongue. Spicy peanuts. Unless y'all can taste something, I think this is a fail. It doesn't taste anything like sriracha. It just burns. It tastes like peanuts that burn you. You have to eat more than two. And sriracha, see, see it's not even sriracha sauce. It's sriracha, sriracha snack seasoning, which is just vinegar, paprika, garlic powder, other things like that. I can only get that on one because it's, it's peanuts, it's peanuts, and it's hurting by the flavor. It's Maybe spicy. two. Good tripping. I get a four. You, oh, you like that as much as, well, almost as much as a chip. You can eat those. I can he eat likes the he likes the Pringles too. But okay, we're down to our last item and. Sadly, maybe in Mark's case, he might shed a tear. Tear. This is the last we'll see of Virgil's. Man, we've been through Virgil's root beer, Virgil's special root beer, Virgil's Doctor Better, Virgil's cola, and Virgil's cream soda. This is the last one, Virgil's black cherry cream soda. It says it's made using the finest cherry flavor, vanilla beans, and unrefined cane sugar. No nutmeg. Not in this one. <laughs> if you put nutmeg in this, it would taste like a root beer infusion of. Black cherry. That's a color. I don't see that. Even on black cherry soda, I don't see that. Oh, you don't want it. You smell this, you don't know. Dollar tap. <laughs> it smells like, yeah, it smells like a medicine. Ooh. <laughs> cough syrup. You ain't gonna cough yeah. it. Well, once you get it past your nose again, it's just like that cake. You can kind of feel that creaminess, but it's not really too, it's raspberry on it. Uh, yeah, if you can get past the smell, that's good. I'll give it a three. I mean, that smell, you gotta, you, you'd have to, every time you put it up to your mouth, you'd have to smell that. So. You have to close your nose. It's I'll say three. Reason. Just because it's Virgil's. <laughs> Pass on the smell, get that a four. <laughs> okay, looks like Owen gave every single thing a three except one four, I believe, and one two. Uh, so what would the winners be? Mark says the cake. <laughs> no. The, the melon, peanuts. The melon soda. The, would yeah, the be melon the, soda and the peach. I'd water say water. the barbecue rib chips. The loser is that cake. <laughs> <laughs> and that shit, that wasn't old either. I guess it's just again, foreigners don't like as much sugar in their products as we do. So, Owen says the barbecue rib chips by his fellow redneck. <laughs> I say these two fruit drinks, and I think Mark would say these two. Yeah. So, that was another good episode. Nothing really bad. Even the cake was acceptable for the most part. <laughs> but we'll be back with another episode of Put It In Your Mouth. See you later. See you later.